But hey guys, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be playing some Gun Girl Cafe. This is going to be giving you guys my first impressions of the game and to show you guys what the game is kind of all about. If you see if you want to guys want to check it out. So, um, this is like not really a main game, it's more of like a side game. So if you guys want to check out a good side game, maybe check this one out and see how it is. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Well, guys, let's jump straight into things. Okay, so I'm going to show you off the combat kind of really quickly first to show you guys what it's kind of like. So I'm playing this on an emulator, obviously. Now, I haven't played, obviously, an enormous amount of this just yet. I'm kind of just roughly getting into it. I've got a couple of nice characters. By the way, if you're into your waifus, this is the game for you. There are some very nice waifus in this game. <laughs> okay, so let's just jump straight into things and uh, see how the combat kind of goes. All right. Uh, at least in the emulator, there are a lot of loading screens. I have noticed this. So some of the app optimization is a little bit poor in some areas. So I'm going to skip past that. I'm going to turn auto mode off because I have been ordering through these. So you can move around your three characters that kind of move around in a group. And then you can press your attacks down here pretty simply and easily like that. There's also a dodge button down there. And all your characters have an ability each, which is a uh, pretty nice. So there are some cool abilities that you can use, and generally speaking, you do want to combo them kind of together. Uh, and it's basically just like a little action beat em up slash bullet hell kind of thing in some areas. It's a little bit weird. Some levels there are just straight up bullet hells. As you can see, I'm doing like a wave based kind of mission right now. So some of the things are a little bit weird. That's an elite based enemy, which is going to pop all of our abilities and kind of see how that kind of goes. We can bring our support friend character in if we want to do that too. They'll start helping us for a little bit until I think they die. And there we go. Pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy. Oh, I thought we finished the mission actually. Never mind, my bad. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Alrighty, uh, are we done yet? I think we're done. Nope, wait three. We're only on wave two, boys. <laughs> Got a bit to go still. Alrighty, uh, let's just wait for this to kind of come in. So yeah, but this is the generally kind of like the way the gameplay kind of works, and this is pretty, pretty simple, uh, honestly not super engaging. However, in some of the, you can auto through most of the content, but there are some boss fights where you will actually have to like pay attention. So do keep that in mind, it's not all auto level, which is fun in some aspects, so some people do enjoy that kind of style of game. If you want to be able to play a game that you don't have to auto uh, all the time, then this might be a game for you. Simple as that. Alrighty, so I'm just going to finish off this mission super quick. And that's going to be that. And so we've got three star requirements, uh, which is pretty good. So we get a bunch of rewards. Um, personally, I'm, I'm kind of getting a bit sick and tired of whole chibi models in game. Uh, but this game does have some nice uh, 2D art outside of that. So I'm pretty okay with it, actually. As you can see, this is like the, the fully animated like characters in like the, these cutscenes. So they're pretty cool. So I'm going to jump out of that. And we're going to jump back into the main menu. And I'm going to show you guys some of the other things of the game. So... First things first, let's go over some of the characters that you can get. So these are some of the characters that I've got currently. This is my main team. Uh, they're all the characters I've got currently, but I'm actually going to show you them through the cafe. Because one of the cool aspects of this game... <laughs> oh, nice long tweet. <laughs> uh, one of the cool aspects of this game, which I'll show you in a minute once the game kind of loads, uh, is the... Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, nope, that's not the thing I'm looking for. Oh no, that wasn't the thing I was looking for. Damn it, I went home. Sorry, hold on, give me a sec. <laughs> Clicking all the wrong buttons. Um, I don't know if this is like this on the phone as well. I've only really played this game on the emulator. It might actually be a lot smoother on the uh, in terms of loading on the phone. All right, so if you click on like a random character here, it's gonna take you into, oh, no, never mind. It's gonna give me a story aspect, which I don't want right now. So if you go to the wardrobe screen, it's gonna show you all the different characters in their different costumes. And one of the cool things about this game is you can actually change up the costumes relatively for free. So I haven't actually paid for any of these costumes that you're seeing on this character right now. Uh, and it's the same for pretty much all the characters. If you get the different star levels of the set characters, so there's different versions of the characters, you'll essentially um, get essentially, well, better costumes and stuff. Which I think is actually uh, pretty cool. So for all the different characters in the game. So that's basically how that works. There'll be different like rarities and you can get different costumes and stuff. So the other thing in the, as the title of the game, the thing you're going to be doing is managing your little cafe. So a couple of things you can do is you can make coffee, which is the main thing, which I actually haven't got at the moment, which is the perfect thing to show you. This can essentially just earn you some of the basic currency in the game. Uh, you unlock more of them as you kind of go. So if you want to make like a cold brew and we want to do like a uh, macchiato, there we go. As you can see, and then those will passively go down over time and earn us some more of this currency. It's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy. You don't have the decor screen, so you can essentially customize with different furniture items, customize your shop. Pretty standard stuff for most like house systems in um, these kind of solid games. There's also the furniture store. There's a bunch of furniture store items you can get uh, pretty easily. 
Um, and yeah, I believe you do earn the currency just from playing the game, so it's not just a premium currency, which is pretty fine. And then you can obviously manage the shop, you can put uh, different employees, so obviously this, she's not happy anymore because I've had her sitting there for a while. So if we bring her, let's say we're going to bring her into things, she'll obviously, actually you know, we could probably bring her in, so she's going to be really good in the store, and that's going to be that. And you can also put her into the main bedroom to rest. You can also do in the read manga, dance, darts, and yoga to increase their stats and things as well. So it's actually pretty good, it's a nice system to have, so you'll be managing a little cafe on the side of things. Now currently in the game there is actually an event running as well which you can participate in and if you get up to I believe it's Act 9 you'll get this character essentially for free so that's pretty good. Uh, we can do one of those in a minute. Uh, actually let's just jump into one right now, show you guys what it's kind of like. They're pretty easy to complete. So this is my team proficiency level at the moment which is a team power level essentially. Uh, required for this level is 4,770. So let's just jump into this one. Uh, I'll bring someone along with me, I'll bring you because they're the highest levels and why not. Um, and we'll jump into this mission and just kind of showcase what it is like. Um, but yeah, alright. So we're just going to chuck this one on auto mode while this kind of plays out. And I'll just kind of let this thing kind of go as I talk. So this uh, event is a pretty simple event. We get a bit of premium currency, I think, from it as well. Uh, it's very self-explanatory. There's not a whole lot really to it. We get a basic character uh, towards the end of it. So free character is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, yeah. Graphics in this game aren't anything too special. It's a bit pleasant, they're nice to look at. Um, enemy variety seems to be, at least in the early stages, uh, very a bit lackluster. There isn't a huge amount of enemy variety. So, the main thing you're going to be getting enjoyment out of is probably the, uh, the bosses in the game. But that's pretty standard for these kind of style of games. Um, and yeah, a lot of the levels, at least at this point of the game, are up to consist of these like wave based kind of modes. Um, this might change in future levels, or there might be more of them other levels that I haven't yet experienced yet. There's a lot more different game modes at the end. Um, but yeah, this is basically what the game is kind of like, guys. If this is not something, if you were looking at that this is not something that you look like you would like, and you're probably not going to like it. It's pretty simple. This is basically all the game kind of is. It's just your waifu collector. There's nothing special about this game. It's you're purely here just for the waifus. And if you're not in here for the waifus, you're not going to enjoy this game very likely. That's a highly likely thing. Why are they just standing still? Hello? Yeah, if you're in an attack. What the hell, guys? Useless. Attack the boss. Yeah, they're just standing there, not doing anything about hell. That was really weird. So I don't know if he's going to be one of those. No, this is not one of those bosses that I have to pay attention to. I'm <laughs> just easily going to shit stop this thing. Alrighty. So I believe that's in there, unless it's another wave. Nope, there we go. Okay. So we cleared that mission pretty easily. Uh, I didn't do anything. That's not one of the ones you have to be very active on. And we got a bunch of currency and stuff. This is the event shop currency, I believe, at the moment as well. Uh, which you can. Give me a moment. You can spend by going into the redeem points, I believe. Yeah, so you redeem points, you get a bunch of different items, weapons, different things from in here, which is pretty nice. Uh, we also have a mission that we completed as well, so it's missions you get more of the currency from. Uh, there's also some other things like this. Oh, what's this thing? I haven't actually seen what that thing is. Oh, nope, nope, don't want to see your news. Oh, we've got another sign in. Okay, apparently the day just clocked over. <laughs> uh, so we've got a couple of rewards we can get in here. The other cool thing in this one as well is you do have um, a little text messaging minigame, which you can do by just like talking to people. So uh, they say what they say, you can reply, and you'll get like a relationship bonus points kind of stuff after completing the conversation. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, you obviously then have your little gacha. Over here. Fortunately, I do not think I have enough currency to be able to do one. Uh, actually, I do have enough to do a single pull, so we're just going to do a single pull. I'll just use one of these tickets to just quickly show you what it's like. So, the gacha animation. So, you just simply open up the door. And we got a little bit shafted there. We didn't really get anything too good there. So, I'm just going to skip over that. And we got the two star. It's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, that's basically what the game is really like. If this is your kind of game, if you're into waifu collectors, that's all this game really is. Uh, there's nothing too special here, guys, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I'll quickly show off what the monetization is like so you guys can get an idea. Uh, this game's actually not too bad in terms of this monetization. There is the, the battle pass, which I have not unlocked yet. Uh, there is the shop, so there is a couple of, where are they, um, supply packs. But here's the thing about these supply packs. Then not expensive the most they get up to is like 30 bucks i think or like 20 27 dollars the most expensive one yeah most expensive one is like 26 dollars us so they're actually not too bad in terms of pricing there's a lot of them though but i suppose that gives you some options in terms of well, actually there's some more expensive ones but this is just to buy specifically the coins 
So yeah, that's kind of the general gist of the game in terms of monetization as well, and that's what the gameplay is like. It's Wi-Fi Collector. If you don't like Wi-Fi Collector, you're going to like this game very much because that's all it is. Don't expect anything special out of it. It is purely I'm not saying it's a bad game and you won't enjoy it. It's just it's it's a Wi-Fi Collector through and through. Like you're going to be collecting, playing this game to collect Wi-Fi. That's it. So anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, channel, and see you guys. Bye, guys.